everybody! Welcome to today's video! As you can tell from the title, I am going to be making a book look. This video I have had planned for such a long time, and we're going to ignore the hammering in the background because I cannot be bothered. Actually, I am bothered, but we're going to ignore it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I've been planning this video for a really long time, but I've just kept on putting it off because it never seemed like the right time to do it because I've been quite busy in my weekends. But I figured now is the perfect time to do it because if I don't do it now, I don't think I'm ever gonna find another time to do it. And so far, it has been fun. I have actually tried making a book nook before. I think it was the summer of 2021. I'm not so sure. But I did try to do it and I failed miserably. I recently discovered Mechanical Fiend on YouTube. I love their videos. I've always been interested in miniatures and I've always wanted to get into it. But it's a very intimidating craft if you don't know what you're doing. But since I've been watching Mechanical Fiend's YouTube videos, I've been inspired. And I thought, why not make my own book nook? Because book nooks are expensive. If you search them up online, most, if not all of them, are more than 1,000 pesos each. I'm not willing to pay that much for a book nook when I can just make my own. It might be ugly, but who cares? I can at least try. I'll insert clips of me starting it yesterday. Before I show you what I did, let me first visualize what I want to do with a book nook. So what I'm going to do is make a book nook within a book nook. If you don't know what the book nook is, it's basically a really cozy reading place, usually by a window. So I'm going to do that. I have a bench, I have a window, I have bookshelves, and then on the front of the book nook, I'm gonna have an arc. Behind that, I'm gonna tape my battery light for the fairy lights, and then I'm gonna trail the lights by the ceiling. And then possibly, I'm going to put paintings on the wall, maybe other furniture, maybe a clock, who knows? Let's see what actually happened. What I did yesterday was basically build the foundation. So I've already cut out pieces of cinderboard a long time ago and I just assembled it yesterday. I just used hot glue to combine the walls to the base of the floor. And then I used modeling paste to seal in the sides of the wall so that once I put my light in, none of the light is gonna leak inside. everybody this is my current situation i've attached two of the walls and plastered the wallpaper on the other i'm not going to be attaching this side of the wall first because i'm not going to be able to put stuff in it and then i'm thinking of making a hinge wait i'm thinking of making a hinge so that i can oh wait can you even see so i can open and close this side of the wall so I can access the battery easier because obviously I'm going to be putting a roof here so I won't be able to access it from there. I'm just brainstorming and going with the flow but I think it's gonna turn out very nice and I'm very excited. I'll update you later. Here I am cutting up an image that I'm going to be pasting outside of the window just so it looks like there's actual scenery there which is gonna be so cool. And here I am cutting out a rectangle from paperboard. I think that's what it's called. I'm doing this because centerboard is too smooth for paint to go on nicely. It goes on too streaky, so I need a little bit of grit and texture so that the paint actually sticks. And then here I am just painting that brown. A lot of the things in this book nook are gonna be the same brown color, however, I did paint over it with a little bit of a lighter color just so it doesn't look too one-dimensional or two-dimensional. And then I used popsicle sticks for my floor. So here's me laying them out just to see how many I need. After that, I cut them up to make a pattern, not really a specific pattern, just a very random one.
And to stick that onto the base, I used hot glue, which was kind of really messy. So here's me taking off the excess. And then I just painted that floor the same brown color. Now I'm gluing on the bench to the wall and I have that little white strip there so that it stays balanced as it dries. Then this is me gluing on the left leg. I also glued on the right leg and this is what it looks like from the front. A little lopsided but whatever. Then here's me finally pasting on the image as usual. It's a struggle to get the sticker backing off. I love that you can't even see what I'm doing there. There it is in all its glory. And here I am just painting the walls for the bookshelves. After that, I started to assemble the parts for the bookshelves, which was harder than I thought it would be. I had to do it a few times to get it right. I also cut out another piece of paperboard, painted it, took out my knife set, and cut a rectangle out of that for the window. Had to cut it a few times to make sure that it was the right size, although in the end it kind of was not, but we're not going to talk about that. Then I just cut out a piece of plastic from an envelope and I pasted it onto the back to make the window pane. Okay, I filmed this once already, but I'm gonna do it again because in the other clip you could literally only see this much of my face. Anyway, what I got done today, the floor, the bench, the skeleton of the shelves. This is all I'm gonna do for today. Tomorrow, the agenda is to finish the shelves, make the books, and insert them, thread the light through. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that because I don't think my original plan of putting it behind an arc here is gonna work. But we'll see. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is make the wall on this side with the hinges so I can open and close it up. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. On the second day, I started making the arc to go in front of the bookshelf, but I did end up making that bigger. The only reason I included this footage is because I wanted to show you my favorite pulveran ever. Hop Pulveron, is that what you're called? Please sponsor me. Please sponsor me. I love your Pulveron. And then I started to paint the remaining bookshelf parts. Then I cut up some cinture board for the books, which I just stapled paper around to make it easier. And to give the spines a little color, I just press them into ink pads that I have. In retrospect, I could have colored the sides too, just because you ended up being able to see the whites. But whatever, I was going for quick, easy, and fun because I wanted it finished already. Okay, now we are on the final stretch. I, I took a little button and cut out a piece of paperboard so I could make a clock. I wasn't able to put numbers because it was kind of too small, but you get the idea. And then I started to make the hinges and assemble the other wall. I had to repeat this a few times because the first time I did it, the gaps were too small for the wall to be able to fold inside, but I ended up getting it right eventually. I also threaded in the fairy lights. I started from the bottom behind the bookshelf, went around that, trailed it along the right wall, and pasted the battery to the wall with Attack It.
welcome to the end of this video. I would just like to say I had so much fun making this video. I love doing arts and crafts. This is by far one of the best things I've ever made. Another thing I love to do is writing. And I feel like I don't share enough of that side of myself on this channel. So you know what's coming. Self promo. I recently started a Substack. If you don't know what the Substack is, it's basically a newsletter that you can subscribe to either for a certain fee or completely without a fee. In my case, my Substack is completely free. I've already posted an introductory thingy and a poem. So exciting. I'm so excited for this. I plan to post once a week. So if you're interested in prose, in language, in poetry, and whatever I plan on writing. I'm gonna put the link in the description and if you want to subscribe, please subscribe! Here is the book nook baby. It's so cute. I definitely could have made it cleaner, but it's still nice as is. It does the job. You can't see the light that much because it's not dark here, obviously, but you saw it in the b-roll and it's cute. That's it for today's video. Bye bye. Have fun. If you make a book nook, Send me a picture on my socials. Bye!